Good day, dear people. So today is the day that you guys get to find out what I bought with the money from selling my big super telephoto lens. Now, as you know, I'm not particularly big on gear on this channel, but this was quite a substantial change for me, and hopefully it's gonna lead to much better quality videos for not only you guys to watch, but in theory, it will improve my chances of furthering my career in wildlife filmmaking. So let's see what I got. This is a modular cine system. More specifically, it's a Zcam E2. Now, if you're looking for a deep dive into the specs or review of the item, this isn't the video for you. There are people on YouTube who do a far better job of that than I will ever do, and I'll link some of them below, which maybe helped me make the choice in the first place. But what I'm actually gonna do is set this up and as I go, explain some of the choices I made. So let's get into it. So some of the more noteworthy specs for all you tech nerds are currently on screen, but for me, the key features that made me opt for this particular camera were one, its ability to shoot high res, high frame rates, meaning that I can get detailed slow motion shots. Two, the crop factor of its micro four thirds sensor, which but simply means my focal lengths are doubled, allowing me to get closer with less risk of disturbance. And three, pre-roll a function which constantly records and deletes a short snippet of footage so that when you press record it stops deleting and instead adds that previous snippet to the start of your current clip. So as long as you're quick, capturing all the action should be far easier. As for the rest of the setup, I thought I'd run you through it briefly and then perhaps show you a small taster of my first day shooting with it. First up, having a heavy camera means that I can no longer mount just the lens or just the body to the tripod. Instead, both have to be supported equally. Hence the little adjustable support that slides onto the rails, which in turn slide into the tripod plate. Second, a bit of a luxury. With more specialist video setups, manual focus is often preferred because you just have a lot more control. However, the manual focus ring on telephoto lenses is often a bit of a reach away, which causes bigger movements and as a result, increases your risk of disturbing wildlife. So I've opted for something called a follow focus. It's essentially a small motor that you line up to an adjustable gear ring and then connect to a power bank. It then connects wirelessly to a small wheel which I have access to at the back of the camera. Once calibrated, it's a much easier way of manually controlling the focus with minimal movement. Then of course you need to see what you're filming, so I've got a cheap monitor that I attach to the cage using a mini bore head and then plug directly into the Zcam. And last but not least, the batteries. One for the monitor and a substantial one for the camera itself. This is going to take a lot of getting used to, but shooting in its internal Rec. 709 profile, which very roughly equates to shooting JPEG in a stills world, I was able to capture these shots on my first day shooting with it. Watching. I'll leave details in the description below, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, a special thank you to my patrons for helping to make these videos possible. 